I decided not to use the leg tie down on the Texas Special holster. So you can see that piece of leather lace is just tied off on the other side. Now without this holster being tied down to your leg, you may find that when you draw the gun, the holster rides up on the belt. And that's because this opening from here to here is about three and a half inches wide. So depending on how wide your gun belt is, as you may see some of that slide. In this case, there's a good two inches here. Um, there's a simple solution to that. They're called brass buttons. They're also called brass studs or Sam Brown buttons. Let's see if I can get this in the picture. This is the 10 millimeter size. I got a pack of these off of Amazon. They're also sold by Tandy. Let me see if I can show you the, the packaging. And they go right here. And you see that locks the belt in. One on each side. And I just put the belt in, drew a line, punched a couple holes, and installed them. So it's pretty simple. They have an added benefit. Also, if this one on the back end here, where the grip of the, uh, the gun would come out, I slide this in a little bit further than the one in the, on the other side. And the reason is, is to force this part of the holster out a little bit more so that the grip of the gun is forced a little bit away from the body. So it's easier to get your hand underneath there. You may see this one here, it's a little closer to the edge, it doesn't matter quite as much, but again this one, the idea is to set it in far enough to uh, kind of push that holster out a little bit more, give you a little more room for the fingers. And that's it.